Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to use our fourth method for graphing parabolas called the quadratic formula method. Now, of course, quadratic formula is used for various things, typically for solving a quadratic equation, but they can also be used for graphing a quadratic equation. And again, the principle is the same. We find the solutions and then use the solution to graph the equation. The quadratic formula is based on the fact that we say that y equals ax squared plus bx plus c is the general form of a quadratic equation. a, b, and c are the coefficients, they're numbers, and here in the, this case, a would be equal to 1, b is equal to 4, and c is equal to 3. The quadratic formula looks as follows. We can then solve for x. We say x is equal to minus the coefficient b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2 times the coefficient a. All we have to do now is plug in those numbers and solve for the two solutions. So in this case, we can say that x is equal to minus b, b is 4, so minus 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 4 squared minus 4 times a times c, and the whole thing divided by 2 times a. Now all we have to do is simplify this and see what we get. So x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus the square root of, this is 16 minus 12 divided by 2, so x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 divided by 2. And of course, the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So this is equal to minus 4 plus or minus uh, 2 divided by 2. And then we can divide the 2 into the two numbers in the top. And so this is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 1. So now we, that means that we have two possible solutions. So either x is equal to minus 2 plus 1 or x is equal to minus 2 minus 1. So in the first case, x equals minus 1. Oop, got ahead of myself. Minus 1. And in the second case, x equals minus 3. Now what does that mean, the two solutions of the quadratic equation? Well, those are the places where the, quadratic, the, where the graph crosses the x-axis. Those are the points where the x-axis is crossed. So, graphing our y-axis. Here's a y-axis. Here's our x-axis, x equals negative 1, which is right there, x equals negative 2, negative 3, negative 3 is right there, so we know that it crosses the x-axis at those two points. Now that means that either the parabola opens upward like this or opens downward like this. Looking at the equation, knowing that the coefficient of the x squared term a is a positive number, that means it opens upward. We can also help ourselves by also finding the place where it crosses the y-axis, where it crosses the y-axis, that's where x is equal to 0. So to find the y-intercept, we're going to set x equal to 0. All right, when we set equals to 0, in here we get the y-intercept. So therefore y is equal to 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 3, or y is equal to 3, which means when x equals 0, y is equal to 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, and we also know that the parabola crosses the y-axis there. Now all we have to do is connect the dots, and there's the graph of our parabola. Again, it works really nice, and the quadratic formula can be used for equations that cannot be factored. In the previous video we showed you the factoring technique and kind of did the same thing, but sometimes you can't factor the quadratic equation and then you can use the quadratic formula to get the same results. And that's how we do that.